let's go ahead and take a look at this video. This is adding and subtracting rational expressions. Now I've done three previous videos, problem sets one, two, and three. This is problem set four. They've been getting progressively harder and it's all about how to add or subtract an algebra fraction. Okay, there's a four step process. I put the steps down here so we can still do uh, have some space to work, but we're going to be working these four problems, which are a little more complicated than the previous ones. And the process is number one, find a common denominator. Second, write equivalent fractions. And then we're going to add or subtract as indicated in the problem there. And then we simplify by factoring out common factors and canceling. All right, let's look at this first one. And as always for these problem set videos and the self quiz that comes at the end, you try it on a piece of paper. If you get stuck, go ahead and watch me work through it. But it's really much better if you try it first, okay? Don't just be a, a spectator and be passive. Watch um, just enough so you can try it and then you can watch me finish the rest of the problem. Okay, number 13. We have a B minus three denominator and a B plus three denominator. Those are different. So your common denominator is going to be a product of both, as you can see here. Now anytime you have a denominator that's a binomial, I urge you to put parentheses around it so you can remember to think of it as a unit and not two separate parts, okay? So notice that the B minus three denominator in the first fraction requires that I multiply top and bottom by the other part, which is B plus three. So I wanna go ahead and write that right there. And this already has B plus three, so now I need to multiply top and bottom by the other factor, which is B minus three. All right, so again, I um, would recommend that you write it out, extend the fraction bar, and you know, try not to do too much in your head. You know, if, if you get a lot of practice, certainly you can find some shortcuts. But don't be um, trying to do too much in your head. You'll probably leave a few things out. So now distributive property gives me this first part. It'll be 2b squared and 6b, keeping my plus sign in between there. And since it's addition, I don't have to worry about any sign change there. It's going to be 4b plus 4b um, minus 12. Okay. Now, of course, I want to combine my like terms together, and I have a b squared term. I've got two b terms there, and I have a constant of negative 12. So 2b squared plus 10b minus 12, okay? All over my common denominator of b minus 3, b plus 3. Final answer, officially you can see, is what we got there. All right, great, leave the denominator factored. All right, number 14. Notice how we should factor out anything we can see. So we're gonna factor out that first denominator. Number 14, notice how I can factor this denominator and I can pull a six out and leave three n minus 2 and then of course I have this n plus 4 binomial okay my common denominator has to be a combination of both so for my first fraction I need to multiply the top and bottom by n plus 4 and for the second fraction I have to multiply top and bottom by 6 times 3n minus 2. And it looks like I'm running out of room there. All right. So let's go ahead and put this together. Up here I have distributive property that gives me 5n squared plus 20n. Now it's a subtraction here, so let's just kind of figure this out. This would be 18 times 3n, which would be 54n. And then 18 times 2 is 36. And 
and then the subtraction sign in between changes the sign so it's going to be negative 54 n plus 36 notice how I put a D there D is the denominator I'm going to end up with and just to save some writing I don't want to write all that um, the two binomials and the six so until my final step and maybe when I'm considering simplifying um, I'm just going to put a D on the bottom so just a nice little shortcut there alright so 5n squared nothing else to add to that so that's my first term here 20n take away 54n is negative 34n and plus 36 okay take note of a possible factor here this is a 6 on the outside for my denominator and 2's and 3's and 6's are not common factors there final answer is shown Okay, don't cheat. Look at 15 and 16. Let's try those. Uh, well, we have an x minus 6 denominator and an x plus 4 denominator. And so my denominator is going to be a combination of both, a product of both. All right, so I'm going to put x minus 6 here. And I'm going to be adding the other fraction to it extend your fraction bar so you have room to put everything so this is what my multiplication looks like notice how I'm in my second step here writing equivalent fractions so I'm gonna go ahead and use distributive property that would be 5 x squared plus 20 x it's addition, no sign change needed. Again, another 5x squared minus 30x. All right, let's combine like terms. I have a 5x squared and a 5x squared, so that would be 10x squared. And I have a 20x take away 30x would be minus 10x. I can factor out a 10, a 2, a 5, an x, all kinds of things here in the numerator, but none of those would be a common factor with these two binomials I have down here. So let's go and check the final answer. There it is. All right, I hope that you're building some confidence here and doing okay. Number 16. This is an example of something we're going to have to factor first. The first denominator is 2 times v minus 3 and 2 times v minus 6 for the second fraction. Now again, we want to have the largest group of each factor. So we know we're going to have a 2 as part of my denominator. Okay, We don't need it twice. And then we're going to have a v minus 3 binomial and a v minus 6 binomial. So, the missing factor in the first fraction is the v minus 6 part. Okay, multiply top and bottom by v minus 6. Over here, I have 2 times v minus 6, and I need a v minus 3. Multiply top and bottom by v minus 3 binomial. All right, let's put it all together. Top of the first fraction, I have 5 times v and 5 times 6. Remember to keep the same sign in between there. It's an addition problem, so no sign change to worry about there. And it's 5v and 15 with a negative sign in between. All right, any like terms to combine there? Yep, I can combine those like terms there of 10v and these negative 30 and negative 15 is negative 45. And let's see what the final answer is. 
There you go. All right, thank you for working on this. Now, here's your challenge. The next video is called a self quiz. It's under the same title, how to add or subtract rational expressions self quiz. So look for that in my um, YouTube channel and good luck.